Good morning, morning people. Let me just wait a little to see who is going to join me. <laughs> Never mind the background, got books in the couch and stuff. Yes, people. I told you that I'll be doing a topic this week on health. So I decided to start with nail fungus if you are suffering from nail fungus a problem with nail fungus uh, uh if you know of somebody who has been struggling with nail fungus toenail specifically fungus for uh years and it hasn't been healing this might just be the video that that helps you out so welcome to my live video as i promised last week friday I, this week i'll be dealing with a health issue and from time to time i'm gonna pop in a little health issue nail fungus it's a, it's 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 a problem that many of us encounter sometimes you think that you're too young but then you realize that you developed a, a nail fungus you've had it for years and You've tried everything and nothing seems to be working. Nothing seems to be working. This might just be the video for you. And for those of you who, have, who do not have nail fungus but know someone, please share this video. There are many causes of nail fungus. And we know that if you are suffering from nail fungus, you may have research and discover that you can catch it from somebody else. You can bathe in a bathroom where the fungus is present because somebody else has nail fungus and so you develop, you, you catch it from there. You can have what you call ingrown toenail, ingrown toenail where the edges of your, your toenail sinks into the flesh and this can cause it as well. Because what the fungus need is a point of entry. And uh, your, your risk factors. Also, uh, let me just go chat back. Uh, your immune system as well has a role to play, play in um, development of nail fungus. So if you are, your immune system is low, you might also have be prone to that. And the risk factors may include things like wearing those tight shoes. Your, your closed toe shoes where you, your toes are in a pair of shoes. Hi, Terry, some um, Jack. Your toes are in a pair of shoes for eight hours a day, five days a week. The heat and the moisture, if you're a person who sweats in the feet, that in itself provides a breeding ground for nail fungus. You may also develop nail fungus if you have an injured toenail, because there, there's a point of entry. And specifically, your nail fungus, while it affects other nails, it actually, the, the, the big toe, big toes are sometimes a problem. And so you may have had this problem because sometimes it exists for years. So you may have had this problem for a long while. You've been trying other things. You've been putting on acrylic and trying to hide it. You've been putting on um, false toenails and hiding it, but it never gets better. So a couple of things I, I recommend, but the first thing I recommend is that you look at your health, your gut health. It may be that your health, your gut health is not healthy. Your gut is not healthy. It may be that the bad bacteria in your stomach is overwhelming the good bacteria. And so there's an overgrowth of bacteria such as uh, candida or yeast, which is what we know is, uh, is the bacteria that causes nail fungus, yeast, candida. So if, 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 your, if your gut health is not proper, is not good, then you can have that overgrowth of ease and then that might manifest in nail fungus or stubborn nail fungus. 
You might ask, what are the, why, why is my gut not healthy? Many things contribute to a healthy gut. But if you are having a diet in sugar, in high sugar, added sugar, then you might have developed a gut that is not healthy. If you have been taking antibiotics, that can also damage the good bacteria in your stomach. So those are two things that can affect the bacteria in your stomach. Sugar, a high sugar, sugary content of your meals, and also like things like antibiotics can affect it. So the things you eat is very necessary, essential when it comes to curing nail fungus. In order to put your gut health into balance, to put it back into balance, I, I will recommend probiotics. But before you take this probiotic, make sure you talk to the pharmacist about what you want in it for. Uh, you could talk to your physician because maybe you may be taking treatment that the probiotics might affect. But probiotics, what is it? Probiotics is a is live bacteria in the form of some. I've seen gummy bears. I've seen um, je jelly like looking one. But the the ones that I I am familiar with is the capsules. And these capsules contain one or more up to millions of ba ba live bacteria. And if it's, if it's an effective probiotic, it should help to normalize uh, the good bacteria in your stomach and get, um, get that yeast under control. So probiotic, um, you can check it out at the pharmacy wherever you are living, whether it's in St. Vincent or anywhere else. Check it out. It's, uh, it, it will help with the absorption and the digestion of your food and also in terms of creating a, a balance in terms of your, your, your good to bad bacteria in your stomach. So if you've been dealing with nail fungus, stubborn nail fungus for years, it might just be that you might need to address this problem from the inside out. Many people, they recommend tea tree oil, they recommend Vicks, they recommend so many things that are applied for on the toe, but it may not have worked because that the problem is from the inside. So you have to look at your diet and start reducing the sugary um, content of your diet. Also things like bread, which contains yeast, are things that you might want to reduce in your diet. And along with that, you take the probiotics. So you start addressing your nail fungus problem from the inside out. When you get that probiotic, you take it according to the way it is prescribed. And also, you take another look at your toes. Hi, Marvin. How are you doing? Look at your toes. And if you've been neglecting them, if you've been putting acrylic on them and trying to hide a problem, now it's time when you have to expose those toenails. The affected toenails, because things like nail, nail polish actually worsens the problem. Acrylic worsens the problem because then you are covering up the problem and all that moisture when you bathe, when you bathe, all that moisture is underneath the toes and it doesn't get dried out and fungus needs moisture in order to breathe. So you look at your nails because you're going to take the probiotic and take and make sure you reduce your sugar intake. But at the same time, you're going to look at your toes, clean them up, get, get clean, clean up the toes, trim them as low as possible and use a file to file on top of the toenails. Because sometimes what happens is that the toenail is lifted from the nail bed. And there are white stuff underneath. Do not trouble the white stuff underneath. Do not dig it out. Because when you dig that out, it leaves a hole. And, and, and that hole, it cannot, it cannot um, attach, help to reattach the, the nail to the nail bed. So even if the toenail has lifted, if the toenail has completely lifted, you can cut it off. If it is partially lifted and the other part uh, and, 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 and underneath it, there is this white thing. Do not dig it out. Just trim the nail as low as possible and file on top of the nail. File on top of the nail to make it thin because sometimes it's thickened. The, the, the nail is thickened and hard. 
So you file on top of it, file on top and, and thin it off, and then you apply the nail fungus treatment. Maybe you're um, using natural remedies such as tea tree oil or VIX. So you put, apply that, the drops of tea tree oil to that nail or you rub the VIX on it. If you, in the, in the night, what you can do is put the, the VIX all over your feet, between your toes, on the toes, and put, a, a, a put on a socks on it. In the day, you could just um, make sure you dry the toes and you drip a few drops of your tea tree oil. So tea tree oil or VIX, they are very effective. But if the problem has existed for years, you might just want to look at your gut health. So that's if anything, if you've taken away anything from what I've said today, um, just make sure, remember to look at your gut health, your gut health from the inside out. You treat nail fungus from the inside out. Most of the times when you do research on nail fungus, people tell you what to apply on the outside, but they do not tell you what to do with your diet. They do not tell you the regular care for your toenails. I, I cannot go into all of the details concerning nail fungus, but if you if you are interested in, in getting rid of this problem, you can also check out my book that I've written almost two years ago, which I updated with new information recently, how to get rid of toenail fungus using this simple guide. You can check it out on Amazon. You can just Google my name, Ophelia Mayal, and and you will find how to get rid of nail fungus. How to get rid of toenail fungus using this simple guide. If you buy that book, when you buy it, you can read it and you can use the guide. And if you need a consultation, I'm willing to offer free consultation, whether by video chat or not, where I can actually look at your toes and give some recommendations or some tips as to how you can go about getting rid of this problem. One final thing before I go is to, is to encourage you to be patient. Just like anything else, you have to be patient when you're dealing with fungal problems of the toenail. Because the, the toe, according to my research, it takes uh, over six months to completely grow out. So this is not going to happen overnight. It requires that you're consistent in taking your probiotics. Once you've discussed this, you can discuss it with the pharmacist. Or you can discuss it with your doctor because you might have other problems that prevents you from getting, from taking the probiotics. So make sure that you consult with the pharmacist or the doctor, whichever one if you're experiencing problems. But probiotic is a supplement. It's not a, um, it's not a, like a antibiotic. It's a supplement that you take to help with absorption and digestion of food and to normalize your good to bad bacteria ratio in your stomach. And once you've taken your pro once you're taking your probiotics, you still have to look at the toenail. You have to get rid of that acrylic that you've been hiding it with. Get rid of the false nail, expose the toenail. Do not apply any nail polish to it because that will keep moisture and hide the problem and it will prevent the, the topical treatment that you're going to apply to the toe itself. That, that's going to prevent, prevent it from getting where it needs to get. Do not dig out that white stuff, that smelly, offensive stuff that comes from under the toenail. Leave it. It will grow out on its own. So again, you can check out my book, How to Get Rid of Toenail Fungus using this simple guide it's on amazon and it's written by ophelia mile for those of you who do not know my name once you've um, bought that book it's in kindle form so you you know you get it right away it's in kindle form and it's about 2.99 i think i might um reduce the 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 cost to 1.99 later on when i get back so that people can get it at a cheaper cost or uh, maybe even um 99 cents who knows and so you can check out that book and once you get the book, you go through it and you, you try and, um, the remedies that I have there, including your probiotics. If you need a free consultation, message me once you've bought the book. I can look at your toenail and I can do some recommendations for you regarding toenail fungus. So share this video if you like it and if you think it's informative because you might know of somebody who is suffering from toenail fungus that has been going on for years 
And the reason why I can um, share all of this information is because I I actually had this problem, which um, started years ago. And um, last year, uh, I actually started seeing the probiotics and how it worked for me, along with the other things that I've been doing. Before that, it will try and go halfway, and then it will get back to square one. But uh, it, uh, you know, persistence in finding a cure for toenail fungus actually is what got me here. And it doesn't mean that after you've gotten your toenail grown out and healthy that you're going to stop. This is something that you have to always do in order to keep your toenails healthy. So it's a cosmetic problem. Many people hide it under nail polish, but don't do that. Get rid of the problem because it can spread to your other toenails and it can even get worse than that. So get rid of the problem. All right. If you're a diabetic, you might have the, this challenge. If you're an older person, you might, and even young people get toenail fungus too so all the best guys and um i'm looking forward to being live with you again i don't know what my next topic is going to be but if you're just joining me this is uh how to get rid of a stubborn toenail fungus listen to the video all the way so that you can get some good tips you can apply these tips or you can buy my book how to get rid of toenail fungus and using this simple guide and then you can have a free consultation via Facebook chat where I can look at your toenail and actually see how we can help with that. And all the best, guys, and uh, take care. Uh, bye. And don't forget, share it, share it, share, share, share.